before we start, I just want to show you that I also have a detailed step-by-step -step guide right here on my website. And you can go here, the link will be in the description, and you can just copy the code from here and paste it into your own project. But now I want to show you how to create custom logs within your own project. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I created this example app right here, which is a very, very simple app. It just has a button which is supposed to create a log. Now let me show you the uh, the source code for this. Source code for this, and it's just a simple form that will hit this custom log route right here, and that log route will. Um, call this log controller and the index method and all that will do is just hit this uh, example API right here and then it will log the uh, the response of the API right and we just have this default logger which is says log info and then we'll, we'll, it will print out this uh, text and the response so let me just show you how this works. I will create the log and by default Laravel will store this log right here within storage logs and laravel.log and right here we can see our API response with this JSON as a response right here. Right? And if we just said log info in any other controller then that would also um, print a log to this Laravel log file right here. Now what we want to do is we want to create our custom log file. And in order to do that, we will have to go to our logging.php. And I will hit command P and type in logging.php. If we take a look at this logging.php, we can see down here that there is a an array of channels. And now I want to create my own channel and I will go here and type in custom log and I will create a new array. And within that array, I will define a driver and that driver will be called single. And in this case, driver single, just means that you will write all of your logs to one single file only. And that is what we want right here. Now I will add another property to my custom log array and that will be path. In here I can define which path my log file will be stored to. And just like all the other log files, I will store it at storage path say logs slash and I will call my file custom log dot log. So now I have created my own custom channel right here. And in order to call this channel, I will have to go back to my controller. And in here, instead of calling log colon colon info, I will now call log colon colon and say channel in here I will define my custom log channel and from here I will call the method also info I will give it a text for example API response and give it an array with the response as well Now I can delete this right here, save it, and now I can go back to my application and try to create the log. And now I go back to VS Code and take a look at my logs. We'll go to storage, logs, and in here I can now see that I have my custom log file. And I have that exactly that API response text right here, and I got this JSON that I have defined. So I have this chasing of my response right here. So everything worked fine. And now to go one step further, I could also customize my log message. For example, if I didn't want this to have a colon, but for example, two slashes, I could do that by customizing my 
log message. And in order to do that, I would have to set up a formatter for my log messages. And I can do that by going to app and create a new directory. Let's call it logging. In here, I want to create a new file called customized formatter.php and I will create a new class called customize formatter. Now I will also add the namespace In order for your formatter to work, you will have to create a function called invoke. So let's create a public function and make sure to spell it like this underscore underscore invoke. And it takes an argument called logger. In here, you will have to for each over this logger. You will say logger get handlers say as handler and within this for each loop now you can set the formatter so we will have to say handler set formatter and we create a new line formatter and we will have to import this from our monologue. And now finally in here, we can define our format. So let's just say, for example, we want our date time within curly brackets. Then we want to show the message and two slashes and then we want to print out the context add a semicolon right here and now we have defined the format of our log file but our application doesn't know anything about this customized formatter yet so we will have to go back to our logging.php come here to our custom log channel and add another property called tap and we will assign it to an array and this array will take our customized formatter which we can choose here import it and say class and that's it now we have set up our customized formatter within our custom log channel so let me test it and let me go back to my application. Now I want to create the log by hitting the API again. And in here in my VS code, I will go back to my, to the storage directory, go to logs and select my custom log. And now in here, here I can see that it has changed the format to the previous one. So I have now my curly braces and I have now my two slashes instead of my colon, right? So that is how I use the formatter to show a different kind of format. And yeah, that is basically how you create your own custom log files and how you customize your log messages. Now, sometimes if you wanna um, log your API responses, like this then it can get very confusing and sometimes it can be a very long response and that's why i want to recommend to you that you would also install something called laravel telescope you can see here it's a laravel package and it's very very easy to install just uh, type in Composer Require, Laravel Telescope, and Telescope Install. And if you have that installed, then you can just go to your application, type in slash telescope, and in here you have a bunch of options to choose from. But in my 
example I want to go here to logs and I want to show you this now I have a list of all the logs and in here I also have this custom log file that I created I can take a look at it and I can see the log message but I can also go here to context and now I have it formatted in a way that I can actually read and um, you know you can also minimize the JSON right here and you know just take a look at those properties that you actually need so I will highly recommend you install telescope in order to take a look at your logs and that is pretty much it so I hope you liked the video and if you did then please leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye bye